So here we are on top of a mountain, fixing to go down Old Bucktown Road in a thunderstorm in August. Kind of sitting here at the top where the Appalachian Trail comes across, um, hoping the rain will die off. Because I really want to get good video of this. I've been told this is a great trail. But uh, we just did Nimblewell Gap, did a couple of shorts on it. I meant to record the whole thing, but apparently GPS brought me up the backwards way. I thought we were going to the beginning. We were, but we were going up the trail to get to the beginning. Anyway, y'all hold on. This is probably going to get interesting. In a bone stock Jeep Gladiator. Okay, so we're finally back with another video. I'm sorry it's been so long since I put a video out. Uh, my schedule at work changed. I'm now working the night shift, so I will have less time uh, available to spend with my family and therefore less time available to make videos. So we may have to cut back to one a month or at the very least one every two weeks. But, um, before we get too far into this video, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, give it a like, give me a comment, let me know what your thoughts are on this trail. This trail, I had a ball. It was raining like crazy, as you can tell. And the water runoff on the passenger side was extensive and... It was, uh, it was a little tense at times, having to run through that because it was right there on the very edge of the uh, of a cliff face, basically. Just a wooded cliff face where if you slipped in that muddy water, you were, you were in a bad situation. Gonna have a very bad day. But um, we made it. We, uh, we had a good time. Uh, lots of mud. Lots and lots and lots of mud. But strangely enough, by the time it quit raining, all the mud had rinsed off of the Jeep. I didn't have to take it and rinse all the mud off before I took it to get the, the Jeep washed. Um, so there you have it, and there you are. You guys uh, sit back, enjoy the video, and uh, leave me a comment on what you think. I know I went quite slow through a lot of it but as strange as it sounds um the trail guide said this this trail should take about an hour and we did it in 30 minutes so we went a lot faster than the trail guide said we should and that was because my wife kind of was freaking out a little bit and i wanted to get her off the trail um she did not like that edge of the road on the passenger side being flooded like that and there were some sections where I had no choice but to run through it but for the most part that's why you see me kind of sticking to the right side of the roadway trying to stay out of that rushing flowing water because you never know when that's going to wash out uh, a deeper area something that's been okay in previous days and weeks and months and years could all of a sudden get a big, big huge washout a big hole and you got a real problem in fact um we attempted to run two other trails that day and they were both closed because of erosion from all the thunderstorms so there was no telling if we were going to make it to the bottom of this hill um, without finding erosion that was going to cause us a serious issue and as you can tell from the video there aren't a whole lot of spots that are wide enough to turn a jeep around in Especially not a gladiator. Now, a two-door Wrangler, yeah, you could probably do it, but a gladiator is a little bit bigger than a two-door Wrangler. 
Anyway, I'll quit running my mouth and let y'all enjoy the rest of the video. Like I said, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you on the next one.